Hi there, this is Eddie from the Wilderness Twins. Um, decided to do a little bit of a series. This is all going to be edited one on one, but it's going to be a start to finish type of video. Um, I'm going to start from breeding. So I'm going to put in the rabbit, cross fingers for a breeding, the doe that I'm going to be using. Um, I think it's Maggie, her name is. Um, she's only five and a half, coming six months old. So this is her, going to be her first litter. I don't know if she's going to be receptive to um, the buck. If she's not, this part of the video will be um, um, done. But although I'll keep it in, because there are times when you're going to breed a buck um, and the doe is not receptive or aggressive towards them or whatever, and you need to be able to maybe even see that. Um, so I'm going to start with that. Then I'm going to show you... I, I don't have experience of palpating. Palpating is when you're able to feel the gut and you're able to feel the the kits grow inside to see how you know you'll be able to feel them i i'm i don't like to squeeze the, the apparently you won't harm them but i'm i'm not very good at that but what i'll do is weigh the rabbit i'll do that now so the first thing i'm going to do is weigh her um so in two weeks time when i do palpate when it's time weigh her again if she's put on a pound and a half a pound in two weeks there's a very good chance that she's pregnant um, so we're going to do that. So I'm going to pause this now, get out the uh, the weighing equipment, get out the dough, weigh her, and then put her straight in with the, the buck. Okay? Talk to you in two seconds. All right. Uh, first lesson that I'm going to do before it is the way to hold uh, a rabbit. When you see my other um, videos on the rabbit, you know, having it, you know, the ears are up, it's happy. Those are the younger ones. The older ones tend to be, I don't know, a little more skittish on being picked up. Um, so hold it like a, a football, pick it up nice and firm, stick it under your arm. The head is tucked under my arm. And that way it's covering its eyes. And hold it like a football. Got a good hold, I've got a good hold of its back legs. And I can walk around like this for quite a while. You know, just to be able to calm her down. But what we're gonna do is wear her. What I've got here is a, I'll pick this up and show you. This is a, that's actually a baby weighing scale. We got this from China, and it's one of the best pieces of kit we bought because we couldn't weigh them any other way. So this was the best way because it's obviously the big rabbit. So let me get this started. I'm gonna put her on. It's set for pounds, so I know where it is. And then, and then easy, easy. There we go, easy. And it is. She is seven point six eight pounds. So that's a good weight. But she's losing. Same as all of them in here, losing their summer fur. They're getting their the coats in. So she's seven pounds, seven point six eight. So again, I'm going to show you this. The pickup. So pick her up right behind the shoulders. Right bit, right there. Pick her up uh, nice and quick on their leg. There, done. And I can walk around. Easy. So I'll pause this and we'll get right to the buck. All right, so I'm gonna just always take the dough to the buck. If you do it the other way around, there's a good chance you're gonna have a fight in your hands. So I'm gonna get the buck in there, uh, dough in there. Oh, get her up. There we go. He's a, an experienced buck, so he knows what it's happening. She may not take. Oh, excellent. So that's your first fall off. Eggs are only released from the doe on breeding. It's not like, um, they're not like any other mammals in the respect that like dogs and cats, and whatever, that will come into a season. Do uh, rabbits are not like that. Rabbits will only that w they will come into um, season um, or release the eggs once mated. So I usually wait, you know, two or three times to hopefully he'll fall off again if she's receptive. Sometimes it's only the once, but sometimes that's all that's needed. And sometimes he gets a typical of any meal. Might have a little issue with somebody staring at him.
but this takes comes in times take a few minutes. Like she's not receptive right after the the first mating which can happen she's not lifting her back end she's quite happy just to stay in there because she's got her head in the corner and keeping her down what can sometimes benefit is i can move her on all right what i'm going to do is i'll move her Chase her into another position. I know I'm gonna have this people turning around saying rabbit porn, but yeah, it happens. Well, all right, we're gonna um, remove her because it lo doesn't look like she's receptive anymore. Maybe she'll get. Oh, maybe if she if we can get behind her again, we'll see. Yeah, her back end's down, so she's not receptive at the moment. No. So I'll remove her. I'll maybe try again tomorrow. But sometimes want is all it takes. I have had, um, especially Reese. She's not a great, great lover of multiple. And she normally, you know, she gets bred once. And she'll deliver, you know, 10 and 11 babies. Okay, so I'm going to remove her. Thanks very much, bud. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Put the wood. Oh, take it around. Oh, try and get back underneath her. Use it. Oh, again. So if we we'll pause it. All right. Thanks very much for joining me. That last part. Obviously, this is part one of the. Let's take that whole journey together from breeding right through till the end and then harvesting. Um, it will be a set a set of videos so hopefully you join me and we'll go through that whole set and hopefully she'll be pregnant and hopefully we'll go through the whole care part as well so thanks very much for joining wilderness twins this is eddie take care bye for now